Good morning everyone, it's David Schlotthauer here in the home weather office with your severe weather forecast briefing this morning for May 11th, 2023. As always, all my thoughts in this video are mine alone and please consult the National Weather Service or the Storm Prediction Center for the local information for where you're at. So let's take a look here at with what we're dealing with right now across much of the high plains and even for the deep south. We're going to kind of focus in down here across Louisiana and Arkansas where we do have severe thunderstorms moving into Monroe right now, Greenville, Jackson right now. These are producing some strong gusty winds. There has been a couple of tornado warnings along with this activity with numerous severe thunderstorm warnings and quite a bit of lightning strike activity across the I-20 corridor. So if you're downstream of this, please take shelter immediately. We are talking about some very strong winds that are anticipated. We also got more storms that are going on right now across Ardmore on the I-35 corridor in Oklahoma, just south of Oklahoma City near Atta, near McAllister. Downstream will be impacted by this within the next about 15 to 45 minutes or so. And then we got more activity going on across this upper level low that is over Colorado. This is spinning out a lot of showers, a lot of thunderstorms, and this is going to be where we're going to have a lot of the severe weather, especially over Garden City, Scott City, um, Great, uh, Great Bend, as well as Pratt, Wichita, McPherson, Salina today. It's going to be a big day for severe weather, including strong tornadoes, lots of hail. That could be a big problem along to go with some strong winds. So as we take a zoomed out view here, you can see where our trough actually is right here, circled in. Uh, I have that right there. There it is. We have a lot of Barrow Clinic ascent over the Oklahoma and Kansas area. And so when we do take a look at our um, Radar Omega forecast here, we can see how this is all going to kind of pan out today. And I want you all to really pay attention to this video since this is going to be more of my quicker one, not as detailed as I should, but this is kind of a an amended out uh, look that we have for the channel. So going forward here, we can see um, that this is for a about say about one o'clock this afternoon and two o'clock we can see oopsie there we have, i messed up so you can see there for dodge city we do have a line of showers and thunderstorms this will become severe with eastward extent we are talking about numerous tornadoes with this we're also talking about uh, a lot of hail you can see two plus inch hail today across central and southern portion of kansas into oklahoma today so it is this area right in here that I am pretty concerned about for the severest weather. Again, um, a few strong tornadoes, uh, possibly even a violent tornado if the perimeters become right enough in some areas. So consider that. Going forward, we can see that line of storms goes through Great Bend, through Hayes in Kansas. If you're in McCook, um, just be aware, we will be live streaming on this. This is for about 6 o'clock this afternoon for Central Daylight Time. So if you guys are wondering, is David going live today? I will be going live for a few hours, but I do have church tonight. So I will have to go at my regular time, which is about 545 or so this evening but i will be streaming live i promise fingers crossed by about 2 or 2 30 today i will be going live so wichita we have some showers and thunderstorms there expected and across oklahoma we have a couple of intense thunderstorms that are anticipated these will grow upscale into a pretty intense line of storms here all the way from say the i-20 corridor near albaline texas near wichita falls all the way up the i-35 corridor and into oklahoma city norman oklahoma as well as central northern oklahoma and southern uh kansas like wichita this is when we could see um, the strong tornadoes still, the large hail, two plus inches in diameter, and 65 mile an hour wind gusts that are anticipated with this. But look at how organized this is. A comma shaped future here, strong surface low, and strong upper level disturbance with rain coming in around the backside of this with a lot of right front quadrant activity 
because of how dynamic this system is. Therefore, the Storm Prediction Center has issued an enhanced risk for severe weather. Again, we talked about this yesterday. This is driven for a 10% significant for tornadoes across central Oklahoma with a 10 non-sig for tornadoes across central and western Kansas. So again, if you're in these areas, folks, today, make sure you have your weather radio turned on because we're probably going to get uh, a lot of tornado warnings today, including severe thunderstorm warnings, too. Also, there is a 15 non-sig for strong winds, 65 plus mile an hour winds that are anticipated across in central Oklahoma, central Kansas, western Kansas. This is also driven by a 30 sig for large hail. In fact, hail is going to be probably the biggest deal along to go with tornadoes today. From central northern Texas into much of central Oklahoma, southern and western Kansas, under that 30 sig for large hail, we could see hail up to two plus inches in diameter. And especially if we get any supercell development down here in central Oklahoma, we could see a few instances of hail that could approach three, even four inches in diameter, given the amount of appreciable instability and the amount of steep mid-level lapse rates that we have in the thicker hail on Dendrith uh, growth zone. So again, we are pretty concerned about this folks and make sure again you have your weather radio turned on make sure you pay attention to the national weather service and you also pay close attention to the storm prediction center for the best latest information for where you're at because today is going to be one of those busy days that we have not seen in quite some time this is going to be a fairly high impactful event that's why i'm live streaming on this event but that is going to do it with today's severe weather briefing for May 11th, 2023. As always, all the information that I did provide was as accurate as I can make it. And that is going to do it with today's video. Thanks for watching.